Walk out over Southern Arizona's largest school district heads back to class tomorrow. Governor Doug Ducey has promised to raise teacher pay 20% by 2020, but tonight at 10, News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink spoke with one teacher who says she's so fed up, she's moving. Students and teachers return to class here tomorrow for the first time in 10 days. And for one teacher, she begins her final few weeks as an Arizona educator before she moves across the country to take on a new challenge. Those kids deserve more than what they're getting. Dawn Myers is a science teacher inside this building. Four years after she started at Tucson High, she says even the most basic supplies or at a premium. I don't have paper. I don't have paper half the time in my classroom. We get two cases allotted to us a year. Myers has a master's and this August she'll move to New York City where she'll go for her doctorate at Columbia. She'll also start a new chapter as a high school teacher there. She knows her cost of living will be much steeper, but she says she'll be making about $30,000 more a year and work with newer tools and technology. Our kids in Arizona here deserve the same equitable education as they're getting everywhere else. Meyer says she really wrestled with the decision to walk out, but ultimately she argues it was essential. If nothing else, we became strong together and we might not walk back in our classrooms with a 20% raise or heck even a 5% raise. I don't know, but we know that we walked out and stood up for our kids that couldn't stand up for themselves. And Myers isn't making any plans beyond New York, but she says Red for Red is paving a potential road back to these classrooms. Because of this movement, I used to think, you know, I want to move to New York and I'll never look back. But after this, I don't know. I feel like maybe moving there and getting an education and bringing that education back here might be what, what I need to do. After the last week, wanting to see her kids so badly, Myers chaperoned her students' senior prom on Saturday. She says her kids, all 152 of them, helped her find her voice as a teacher. She only hopes she helped them find theirs. In Midtown, I'm Eric Fink, News 4, Tucson.